You know, we use the word underrated actor quite often in the media circles. But for me, only a few actors really deserve the moniker. Now, this guy may not seem to be a household word uh, to uh, many fans of uh, 1960s uh, cinema, especially 1967 cinema, where this guy appeared in two of the biggest movies of all time. But for my family, especially my dad and myself, we love this guy. Uh, he, he could uh, act with the best in Robert Blake, uh, Cindy Poitier, uh, Robert Redford, uh, a myriad of actors uh, in the right stuff. He held his own. Of course, we have to be talking about the late, great Scott Wilson. Now, Scott Wilson, born William Delano Wilson, March 28, 29, 1942, is best be described uh, as an actor's actor. Now, born in Thomasville, Georgia, beautiful community, eventually passed away at age 76 in L.A. of, of leukemia on October 6, 2018. Now, I never had a chance to meet Scott. He would do the uh, celebrity uh, signing circuit, you know, uh, celebrity uh, events and all that. But from uh, my my friends and colleagues that met him, said he was a dynamite uh, gentleman, uh, born on, on and off the screen. He had more than 50 film credits, according uh, according to Wikipedia and uh, IMDb, including The Eden Night, In Cold Blood, The Great Gatsby, Dead Man Walking, Pearl Harbor, and June Bug. In 1980, he received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actor, Most in Picture, for his role in William Peter Blady's The Ninth Configuration. <coughs> he also played veterinarian uh, Herschel Green on the AMC television series The Walking Dead from 2011 to uh, 2014 and again until his death in 2018. He also had a recurring role on CSI Crime Scene Investigation as casino mogul Sam Braun as well as a lead role on a Netflix series The OA as Abel Johnson. Now, First came to major prominence, first with the heat of the night and then in cold blood. And both characters were connected, I'm going to tell you why. Now, he uh, born in a small southern town of Thomasville, and his style of, of, of uh, presenting, talking, and the body movements owes a lot to the Georgia method acted, acting style, because actors from Georgia have a certain way of presenting himself. Now, the first appearance in the heat of the night, he plays a character literally on the run. He's been suspected of murdering the uh, the big uh, owner in town that's going to bring prosperity to the main city that's presented the heat of the night. Now this murder suspect we quickly find out through means by uh, by uh, uh, Officer Tibbs he finds out that you know he's probably not uh, not the main suspect they're looking for and his conversation with Pachi's character lead into uh, drive the plot in certain ways now uh, there's some dark humor with his character uh, basically when he says you know, uh, you have to see it for some. I don't want to give it to away way too much. But the the conversations he has in prison with Poitier's character Tibbs, he said, "I'm the best shot you got." Uh, really shows the humanity of the Poitier character and how Scott Wilson again could act with anybody. Not easy to act up against Cindy Poitier, especially in confined space. And the dark humor that he presents humanizes. When a character is uh, misinterpreted as a murderer, sometimes you have to say, you know, uh, this is the craziest thing I've been in. Like, I have to be humorous about it. Now, he should have been nominated for Best Supporting Actor for that at the Oscars, but that's just me. Didn't get it. But his next performance definitely should have got more recognition. Now, he played, of course... The co-lead, in my opinion, there's a co-lead, him and Robert Blake, and in Cold Blood, the Truman Capote uh, non-fiction version of the color murders uh, in the uh, that uh, serial killer era of the 1960s. Now, it's based on the book of the same name by Capote. Now, he play, portrayed real-life murderer Richard Hickok, while Robert Blake played his partner, uh, Perry Smith. Now, Wilson, in the performance, is... 50% evil and 50% uh, what he call uh, he wants to climb up but he's, he's a career criminal and we don't know there's hints of it is he bisexual is he in love with the Robert Blake character have the are the are the homosexual lovers on the side it's not really played out but all the scenes that uh, Scott's involved with, especially when he gets captured, he being, uh, uh, you know, investigated and grilled by uh, Foresight and the other investigators. It's 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 a method performance that has to be seen to be believed. More goes on in his last ten minutes of screen time uh, on there than than maybe a whole movie could could portray. Every scene he's in. 
It takes a lot to outact Robert Blake, and yes, there's occasions where he does, because he's needy, he's greedy, he's selfish, He's, but he's loyal, and basically he doesn't stop the Robert Blake character from committing the crimes that allegedly uh, the, the the real uh, real life Smith did occur uh, did uh, did did do. Now, uh, director Richard Brooks once said he cast Wilson and Blake in the starring roles because they were unknown at the time. The director passed off uh, passed over get this Steve McQueen and Paul Newman for the parts. Wilson later explained uh, Brooks' uh, casting motivations. Brooks hired two unknowns, and he wanted to keep it that way. We were treated like two killers, and he had somehow run, uh, run across. And the direction in the movie kind of reflects that, where it's almost like your uh, cinema verite. You're seeing it happen, but it, it, you can easily be the third person within the, 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 the duet performance. Now, uh, the film earned Wilson an appearance on the cover of Life magazine, published on May 12, 67. Wilson at the time was just 25. The cover features Capote standing between Wilson and Blake on an empty highway in Kansas. The caption uh, was called Nightmare Revisited and appears with them on the cover. Now, Wilson's next big, big role was in The Great Gatsby in 74, opposite Robert Redford, who he should have been his co-star, and eventually received, uh, later on, a 1980 Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in The Night Configuration by director and friend William Peter Blatty. He lost the Golden Globe that year to Timothy Hutton. In 95, Wilson got attention for his role as a prison chaplain in Dead Man Walking, a very subtle performance, has to be be seen, and uh, Wilson takes all the, the weight of the world on his character because Susan Sarandon's character as a nun and Wilson's uh, character doesn't really relate what Susan Saran is trying to do to get the truth out of the Sean Penn character. Now, the book... Uh, the movie is based on the book of the same name by uh, sister Helen uh, Prigent. Now, uh, Wilson's long filmography included uh, such roles as the Gypsy Mots, again, The Right Stuff, A Year of the Quiet Sun, Malone, The Grass Harp, Junebug, The Host, Monster, Young Guns 2, Pearl Harbor, Big Stand, Judge Dredd, The Shadow Film Series, and Behind the Mass, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Now, Wilson uh, has filmed on location in numerous countries, including South Korea, Japan, and Spain. Now, he had a recurring role on CSI as Sam Braun, father of crime scene investigator uh, Catherine Willows, uh, portrayed by Mark Heldenberger. Now, he was eventually killed off in the episode Built to Kill Part 2, and in the fall of 2011, he also made an appearance opposite Laura Dern on the HBO series Enlightened. Now, cast as veterinarian Herschel Green in the second season of The Walking Dead in June 2011. The role earned him positive reviews, including a cheer from TV Guide, which wrote that he contributed subtle shades of humanity to the character of Herschel Green. Wilson was offered the opportunity to join the show while visiting his 97-year-old mother in Georgia. He has described his mother as a fan of the show. Wilson eventually left the program in December 2013 after, after his character was killed off in season 4, mid-season finale, Too Far Gone. However, he made two guest appearances since his character's death and made his last on-screen appearances, appearance in the fifth episode of the ninth season. Now, when he reflected on his career in an interview with Access Atlanta's Rodney Ho, he said it's been up and down, it's always been. You have dry spells at different times you are starting over. If you love it, you stay with it. That's what I'm doing. I've accomplished more than I would have hoped to have accomplished. I don't want to be a big movie star. I can be someone who walks the streets and not get mobbed. I want to be as fine as actor as I can be. I'm still living, uh, striving to be as good as I can be. Wilson at the time was filming scenes for The Walking Dead in Sonola, Georgia. At the time, the interview uh, took place. Now, he ended up on the OA uh, as well in uh, the Amazon original series, uh, Bosch. Now, unfortunately, on October 6, 2018, he died from leukemia at his home in L.A. He died just a few hours after NYCC, the New York Comic Con. The premiere episode of The Walking Dead's ninth season, A New Beginning, which aired the next day, was dedicated to his memory, which is shown in the final credits of the episode. Now, uh, the Harvey Orbers character in The Heater Night, uh, I still remember Hamburger with Onions. If you are of a certain age and you say, what do you, what do you remember most about The Heater Night, certain scenes, uh, Hamburger with Onions, or Cheeseburger with Onions, uh, 
he was so much like us living in Northern Brunswick. I know it's a, it's a weird thing, but the Scott Wilson character that appeared in *He and Night in Cold Blood* that was up uh, us up there because it was a real person. One person wasn't a criminal; one was a career criminal, but he didn't know any better the way they were brought up or the way they were uh, the bad uh, uh, what do you call uh, things that were given in their life. But really, really stands out for me as well with the revival of the Twilight Zone. He appeared. In a very important episode called Quarantine, one of the better episodes of the revival playing uh, Matthew Foreman. Uh, if you can find it on YouTube or on a cheap DVD, it's quite, uh, quite interesting. And of course, he played Vernon Presley in The Ellison Colonel, The Untold Story, a very uh, underrated uh, show. Uh, not too many uh, appearances over the years, but there's a reason he could pick and choose his roles. But all he knows, ladies and gentlemen, I would have loved to have seen him in a Western. Like with uh, like a Clean Eastwood sidekick that either is 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 knows something about a crime or can be can be used to drive the plot. All in all, ladies and gentlemen, 1967, the best one of the best years of movies all the time. And there's Scott Wilson in In the Heat of the Night and in Cold Blood, and he's dominating these scenes. And it takes it takes a lot to do that. And but to see the natural aspect of his acting skill still lives on and it was a sad day when i heard that he's passed because i go back to the heat of the night and in cold blood on a regular basis because a uh, hollywood suite in uh, canada has a of them as a regular basis to learn anything about directing acting presentation music use cinematography both color and black and white you do less to uh, not see in the heat of the night and in cold blood and there it's all up in the stage but again robert blake and scott wilson one of the strangest crime pairs of all time were the lovers were they're not lovers and ladies and gentlemen all you know is this every time i hear of a bad check i think of scott wilson every time i hear about you know uh, the the bullshit interview or people in prison you know, uh, claiming, oh, I'm glad I did it, and, you know, uh, they're, they're happy until they die. Uh, uh, Gowan's Criminal Mind comes to mind, that famous song. Listen to that. A criminal mind, that's all I've ever known, and that's what Scott Wilson plays in In Cold Blood. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here with our remote control and screenshot podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe. And if this is the first time you're hearing about Scott Wilson, look closely in the heat of the night and see how to act and how he acted. He is the master of taking a little and making it huge. Thanks for listening. Bye.